Today's session, I am going to discuss about uh, ganged CMOS inverter and how to design the symmetric NOR gate operation with the help of ganged CMOS. So, before that, you are familiar about CMOS. So, what is CMOS? The combination of PMOS transistor and NMOS transistor. So, both the transistor are involved in the CMOS design. So, what is the meaning of GANG? So, GANG in the sense, the group of CMOS inverter or many number of CMOS inverter incorporated in the circuit, it is called as a GANG CMOS inverter. So, now I am going to draw the structure of this GANG CMOS. So, I already told, so in this GANG CMOS, it consists of many number of inverters. So, in this structure, we have a two inverter. The first inverter input is A, second inverter input is B. So this one is inverter 1. So this one is inverter 2. So A is the input of inverter 1, B is the input of inverter 2. Now we can get the output from here. So this two shorter path. So this shorter path we can get the output. So this is called as a output. So it's a simple structure of gang CMOS. Now I am going to draw the CMOS structure. So CMOS structure of this logic operation. So this is the first inverter CMOS structure. So in this structure we have a two transistor. So first transistor is PMOS transistor that namely called as T1. Second one is NMOS transistor that namely called as T2. So input of the CMOS inverter is A. So it's a structure of inverter 1. So this one is VDD. This one is DSS. So now I am going to draw the structure of inverter 2 so inverter 2 it also consider 2 transistor so one is PMOS transistor that namely called as T3 another NMOS transistor that namely called as T4 so input of this inverter 2 is B. So, B is the another transistor, another inverter input. So, this line is BDD and this one is ESS. So, you can get the output in the shorter path. So, shorter path of this two inverter, you can get the output. So, this one is output. So, it is a simple structure of symmetric symmetric NOR gate operation so NOR gate operation so now I am going to write the truth table so in this NOR gate it has a two input variables so one is A another one is B so these two variables creating a four combinations of input 0 0 0 1, 0, 1. So these four combinations of input just apply to this circuit, we can verify the output results. Output response of the circuit. So in this two table I am verifying the transistor response also. So in this NOR gate we have a four transistor so P1 so T1 transistor is PMOS transistor so I put here P1 then T2 is the NMOS so N1 T3 is the P2 PMOS transistor 2 T4 is the N2 NMOS transistor 2 then finally verify the output results so before that I write the truth table for NOR gate so A, B is the input variable, we are creating the four combinations of input, then check the output. 
So zero plus zero zero. So taking one's complement, output is one. So rest of the inputs, output values goes to zero. So it's a simple truth table for NOR gate. I just verify this truth table output with this table. So first I am taking this input a value zero, b value zero. So a value zero, b value zero. So in this case, the T1 transistor on. So T1 transistor on. Then T3 transistor on. T2 transistor off. T4 transistor off. So these two transistors turn off. These two transistor turn on. So T1 and T3. Both these two transistor on. This two transistor goes to off. So in this case, VDD is connected to output. So VDD is connected to output. Now output value is one. So both the two table output is same. So then I am going to take this input value one one. So A value one, B value one. So in this case. This two pull up transistors all goes to off condition. So this two pull up transistor goes to off condition because the input value is one. So this one is given to the input of bubble. So after bubble, you can get the value zero. So this two transistor all go goes to off. So T one off, T three transistor off. Remaining two to T two transistor and. T4 transistor. So these two transistors of turn on. So in this case, the VDD is not connected to output. Sorry. So I write here. So T1 transistor of T2 on T3 of T4 on. So final output of the circuit is zero. Now I am going to take remaining two input values. So A value zero, B value one. So A value zero, B value one. So in this case, T one transistor on. So T one transistor on, T two transistor off. So here, T three transistor off, T four transistor on. I just write here. So T1 transistor, P MOS transistor turn on, and N MOS transistor turn off. Here T3, P MOS transistor off, N MOS transistor on. So in this case, the structure operated in a pseudo N MOS. So it operated like a pseudo N MOS. So VDD is passed through T1 transistor on. T4 transistor is connected to ground, so output of the circuit is zero. So this represent pseudo MOS operation. So in this case, A value zero, B value one. Do this structure operated in a pseudo MOS. So T1 transistor on and T4 transistor on. So VDD is connected to ground through the transistor T1 and T4. Then Next input value one zero. So now A value one, B value zero. So in this case, T one transistor off state, T two transistor on, and here B value is zero. T three transistor on, T four transistor off. So in this case, T three transistor turn on and. T2 transistor turn on. So VDD is connected to ground through T3 and T2 transistor. So output of this circuit is zero. So both the truth table of same. So one zero zero zero. So A value zero, B value zero, and A value one, B value one. So in this case, as usual, this structure operated. But remaining these two input values, so the structure is operated like a pseudo N MOS. So I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.